Should I do like a loose, like casual loose tie? No one's gonna care. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Game Mats. It's Matt Palmer. It's Matt Steele. Yesterday, some good stuff happened. And, Very good stuff. Uh, gays can get married or something. Woo! Doma was repealed. And it's Prop 8 was also deemed unconstitutional. Oh, so, so, Californians. F We'll be able to get married again, gay Californians. So today, to celebrate the new uh, weddings that we're now allowed to have, yes. we thought we'd tell you about our dream wedding, what we think needs to be had and done, and who needs to be performing at said wedding. Our dream wedding is what we want to happen. Yes. What happens when we walk down the aisle. Yes, yeah, so but what's going to happen when you, what's, what's, how does your whole wedding start? Okay, I'm going to get married on my high school stage. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <sighs> that just screams like I peaked in high school. And Carol Channing is going to be the minister. It's going to be a really short ceremony because you know who wants to sit through a long ceremony? Nobody. The actual reception is going to be in my backyard in the home I grew up in, in Jersey. There's going to be some baked ziti. There's going to be some fried chicken. There's going to be meatballs. In my backyard, we're going to have carnival rides and we're going to have a petting zoo. It's like you were getting married in like third grade. This is the kind of wedding you'd want. It's fun. Everyone would love a carnival wedding. Cause like no one likes like a reception where you just sit there. What would people wear? Would you be in a tux for this? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'd be kind of hot. Everybody's gonna be invited. You don't need an invitation. You could just show up. It could be a Sound of Music themed wedding. I'm definitely gonna march down the aisle to the wedding music from the Sound of Music. Burr, 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 I've never burr, seen burr. the Sound of Music. Anyway, Matt Palmer, what's your wedding gonna be like, and why is it gonna be so much better than mine? Please humor me with, well, with your response. My wedding will be. I'm wanting it to be. It'll be live streamed on MTV.com. Oh, cool. <laughs> I want it to be. In Madison Square Garden. So it'll be like kind of like an American Will and Kate situation. Oh. But like a little classier, a little bit more upscale. Like fans can buy tickets if they want. That's nice. <laughs> but How much would you charge? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not in the Madison Square Garden, but I need to think of a good, classy, but like Something that's a little bit musical, but like a big, a big hall, a big love. Radio City Music Hall? I don't know. I'll have to look into that. I haven't decided on the space. I'll probably talk to my husband about it. We'll figure it out. Mm. Obviously, kind of like a black tie event. An orchestra and a band for the reception. But also a DJ, because obviously I have to on my Mariah remixes like I was playing for you the other day. It's going to be a bit, it's going to be a fun dance party, but it's also going to be a very classy affair. Like, it's okay. going to be open bar, because honestly, if your wedding does not have alcohol, I'm not coming. Because <laughs> here's the thing, I don't drink. But that's fine, if you don't drink, you don't have to drink, but you should have options for your guests. I mean, I guess. It's not gonna be the number one thing that I'm thinking about. No, but it should be an option. Can it be like BYOB? No! I'm giving them a freaking carnival. They can at least bring their own alcohol. But it's not like a third grader's birthday party. You want to like have this be like an event, a moment, something like you look back in the pictures and like you see people having fun, but in a classy way. Mine's gonna be classy because it's gonna be like all show tunes. A carnival, show tunes, Patti LaPone, Bernadette Peters, Carol Channing, me, my <laughs> husband, which, let's be real, will probably be you. No! Let's be honest with ourselves, no. we're probably gonna end up marrying no. each other. No, jeez. Oh, if that <laughs> happens, I, my suicide note will be short. <laughs> you would be so lucky to marry me. I don't Look how cute we look together, white and, you know, black tie. No. I want Natasha Bedingfield, I want Tony Braxton to sing, I want Mariah to sing at my wedding. It'll all, it'll all match. This is beautiful, by the way. You I have know. toilet paper on your No, face. it's like very mysterious because it's like I walk down the aisle and my husband won't know like how like gorgeous I look. He's gonna lift the veil and he's gonna go, Ugh. Yeah, I feel like you just have a problem with the growing up in general. I think that's what this video should be about. It's about Matt Steele's refusal to grow up. Shut Adult. up! Shut up! I, I want us both to be in tuxes. I want bow ties that'll Ugh. not be the exact same, but it'll kind of match. So it's like we'll fit together, but we'll be our own people. Tuxes are too hot. I'm like hot right now, like wearing a t-shirt. But it'll be, a you, I assume wherever you get married, it'll be air conditioned, no? I, I went to public school. It was a little ghetto. The air conditioning well, didn't work. Well, you need to go somewhere else to get married. I guess. I'm not sitting in no hot auditorium. <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine? If you got married though, I'd just send a text. I want there to be fountains. It needs to be very catered. Whatever little mini food I can think of that would be adorable. Like, like little sliders. I love a slider. Jello jigglers. I want fireworks. Oh, we could do, you know what I love? Those lamps that you light the flame and it like comes up into a balloon and then it like represents all your future hopes and dreams. I feel like that like kills dolphins. It goes up into the sky and then it has to come down at some point. But it it, it goes into the ocean mm. and fish die. No. We'll hire someone to pick them up afterwards or something. I, I, we're doing that and it'll be fine. I mean, I guess that's nice. It's but, beautiful. But I mean, like, I'd rather spend my money on like 
you know, like a petting zoo. Everyone will like it. Everyone loves a petting zoo. You love a petting zoo when you like have children who want to meet animals. You don't like it when you're an adult getting married and like not wanting to smell dung everywhere. Okay, well let's have a poll. Would you rather marry me and have a wonderful fun wedding where there's carnival rides and, and fried chicken and the petting zoos and Carol Channing. Games, there's games you can win prizes. Would you rather have that wedding or would you ha rather have just, you know, a regular wedding. It's not regular, it's a classy affair that you will get dolled up for, it'll be lovely, it'll be beautiful. I feel like everyone would agree that a wedding should be classier than a petting zoo. You can make a petting zoo classy, you could give the animals little bow ties. <laughs> I would make the most fun husband ever. Oh, he'd be a handful. You would have a lot to say. Well, I mean, that too. <laughs> so I guess that's it for today. Happy Doma and uh, Prop A Prop repealing. repealing. Yeah. And, uh, everybody will get married, because you know you can. Yeah, get married. Go get married. You should, because you know what? If it doesn't work, you can always get divorced. Hey. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 keep, keep watching us. Comment, like us, subscribe to us, do everything you can to us, marry us, whatever. It's Matt Palmer. Yes. I'm glad I can't speak. Oh, it's, it's Matt Steele. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>